it's day maybe 50 something of quarantine maybe a little less I'm never quite sure exactly what day it started but it's May the 16th a Saturday and uh, things are starting to open up again I'm, I'm at Hilton Park we made a trip to Massachusetts today to go visit my mother and came back and I had just enough time to get out for a short ride. It's uh, really windy. The wind was pretty much right on the nose all the way here from my house. Not that far, only about maybe eight miles. It's not a long ride, but just a nice little sprint to get away. And I should have hopefully a tailwind on the way back. So just wanted to take a minute to talk about the Lotus bike that I've been riding uh, since late last year. And you can see it here. I'll talk a little bit about it but basically this bike I bought intact however most of the parts that you see have been replaced now, when I bought it it was in very good condition it appeared to be a bike that somebody had bought and ridden very little over the course uh, of whatever 35 38 years since it was built because I think this bike dates to about 1984 and I picked it up in late 2019 and it was in wonderful condition and you know, really just a couple of scratches on it mostly from probably being tipped over here and there while it was stored in the basement but even at that really no issues so I changed out the wheels I got some really good wheels from Peter White Cycles including this front wheel which is a 24 spoke with a uh, Schmidt Dyno Hub and I changed out the brakes to some vintage Mafac racers that I picked up uh, they were also in really great shape and I cleaned them up put on some new pads and uh, ran internal wiring for the lighting and this is a Bush and Mueller IQ XS about 70 lumens great light all internal wiring and I ran a light wire from the dyno hub goes up into the into the headlight and then from the headlight there's a wire that goes down inside through the chainstay and to this great little light right here. This is a Bush and Mueller, uh, I think it's called a Mew, like the uh, Greek symbol Mew. And uh, it's got an older, but, but it was new and unused, uh, uh, Mavic. Open Pro uh, laced up to a to an Ultegra rear rear hub. And I'm running a seven-speed cassette. I had a new or basically a, a very lightly used Shimano 105 derailleur for the front. That's the stock derailleur on the back here. I'll zoom in and see that a little more closely. The stock rear, rear derailleur was in really great shape. So, picked up a Brooks saddle, this is a Pro, some uh, Nitto, uh, I think these are only 39s, they're very narrow uh, Randonneur handlebars, and these are really great, they're suitable for the style that I'm, I'm running with right now, and some new old stock Diacomp uh, non-aero levers, very very light levers, probably 75 grams a piece, really outstanding, and I picked up a new uh, Diacomp rack here. It bolts right up to the brakes. The fenders are Tanaka fenders and they're they're pretty good. Um, I did however just pick up a, a set of Hanjos and I'll probably uh, put those on next winter over the winter if I can get my garage straightened out and I'll have that as a winter project. But these are good for the time being. They're you know sort of uh, they're all right. They look nice. Uh, installation was a bit of a bear on them. I don't think they were perfectly round, so I had to work with them quite a bit. And I'm running 700C by 32 uh, Rene Harris tires on here. Ultralight version. They're fantastic. They're really great. Matter of fact, I do a dirt road section on the way here with some Class 6, you know, really bony, kind of rocky road, mountain bike stuff. And I'm able to get through that with this bike. Just riding light, taking it easy. The crank is a uh, 
It's a TA copy made by Fellow Orange, uh, which I've had for uh, a few years. I had it on uh, my Koga for a while, but I put it on here now. This bike really, you know, needs a double, and I had this double that I wanted to put on there, and I put the triple back that I had, the Sugino triple, I put that back onto the Koga. So, yeah, just the, the proportions are perfect. That's one of the things that I really love about the bike. That's a Dura A seat post that I had in my parts bin. So I put that on there. Looks like my tea is just about boiling here. This is one of the things I do when I come down to uh, Hilton Park. Just park up and brew up a little cup of tea. And that is ready. So, a second here. Pull that off. And put that out. this over. Anyway, so just wanted to give you a quick update on this bike. Uh, it's original paint. I'm not sure if I mentioned it or not, but it's a Lotus. So it was a Lotus XL, I think uh, from around 1984 is the best that I can determine. It's been pretty hard to date it, but uh, there's some online resources that I've been able to look at that seem to help with that identification. Uh, Tongay. Uh, Mangaloy 2001, kind of a middle of the road tubing set, but certainly very, very comfortable for my uses. Made in Japan. The workmanship is really good. Uh, bikes coming out of Japan at that time from makers like this were, were all pretty good quality. So that would be uh, bikes like the Bridgestone. Um, Shogun, you have uh, Yashiki, Lotus, there's others too that I'm just not thinking of right now, maybe Fuji, and the, uh, the, the workmanship was really good. Uh, what I would say about this bike, which makes it special, <coughs> is the, the dropouts. The rear dropouts are vertical. Vertical dropouts on a bike of this vintage were very unusual. Normally they would be uh, horizontal. And horizontal dropouts with fenders don't really work well together. So when I saw this on eBay, uh, I said uh, that is pretty special. A bike of that vintage with, with vertical dropouts and all of the rest of the geometry that I really enjoy. So I said, I'm gonna pick it up. And I was pleasantly surprised. It's about $200 for the bike. And then, no, I take that back. I think it was $150 for the bike. And then I s spent, who knows, another 800 or so for all of the other bits that I put on here. Probably less, probably more like 600, but very pleased with it all. And this bike will be mainly used for road riding and uh, occasional gravel. And my Koga will be used for all road. I, mean, I can use it for road, and I typically has, I have been using it for road, but this will be a nice uh, alternative to sort of switch it up and keep the riding interesting. So i uh, really, really happy with the Lotus. Lotus. All, I'm sorry, Elwa Richard Lotus. The Elwa Richard Lotus, that's right.